Welcome to Big Blend Radio's third Tuesday Go to Natchitoches show, where we explore what you can experience in the state of Louisiana's oldest city. Everybody, it is a beautiful time of year to go to Natchitoches, Louisiana. Natchitoches is the oldest settlement in the state of Louisiana, and I'm going to spell it out. N-A-T-C-H-I-T-O-C-H-E-S, Natchitoches. It doesn't sound how it's spelled, but you've got to go there. Don't let that spelling get you. Just go there. Check out Natchitoches.com. We're going to be talking about all kinds of super fun events and activities you can enjoy in April and May here in 2024. And back on the show, we have Nicole Connell. She is from the Natchitoches Convention and Visitors Bureau. So welcome back, Nicole. How are you? Oh, great. Sunshine and all the flowers are blooming. So we're ready to kick off this spring. Busy, busy. You know what? Um, You know, my Facebook gets inundated with Natchitoches things, right? You know, it happens. And I keep seeing, you know, the Cane Cane, uh, River Commissary. Yes. uh, (laughs) Put up the Zydeco. It was yesterday. It was a couple of days ago. Zydeco breakfast. And I'm like, dude, like, come on. Why, Why do we all, why don't they do it every week? Because every time we come to Natchitoches, we miss it. And so, well, that means we have to come back. I know that. But, yeah. like, this this is like a every second Saturday thing, but we all really want it every day. Like, it looks like so much fun. We would do. love to have it every Saturday. But um, I was out there last Saturday, got to a <gasps> Vatico breakfast. Uh, Catrice LaCour with the LaCour Trio was uh, jamming, jamming out as usual. Uh, it was a great mm. time. It was a little bit chillier than everybody thought, but they had the heaters on and the coffee going. Um, plus, the mm. Bloody Mary bar didn't hurt. Uh, helped keep everybody warm. Well, you know, you know <laughs> that um, the Bloody Mary bar is an important thing. But uh, the music and what, like, tell everybody what you would order for breakfast that would make it a Zydeco breakfast. Of course, the music and the Bloody Marys, but food wise, what would you say is a good option? Well, of course, the Louisiana staple is going to be your shrimp and grits. Uh, Several people at the table had shrimp and grits. They have a huge, uh, they call it the Cane River Platter, uh, which is all the breakfast you can imagine. Scrambled eggs, biscuits, bacon, sausage. Uh, So it's just uh, all different kinds. So Mm. Now, um, I heard that you did, I know St. Patty's Day just passed. Yes. Did you do the run? Did you did not do the run. It was a bit misty. Um, We had lots of people in town, so it was all hands on deck here in our visitor center. I was thinking of you. I was thinking of you thinking, did she do it? Did she do it? I'm sending you good juju, but apparently Uh, I I need to get to it. I need to get to Louisiana for better juju. (laughs) Well, hey, you went to the Zydeco breakfast. So like that's, that's important. Yeah. So, so that's every second Saturday. And I love that you have these, you know, events that people can do all the time. And one of them, I always tell people, I mean, of course we had to start with breakfast and Bloody Mary. So, you know, Hey, do they have meat pies for breakfast? I would eat meat pies for breakfast. Yeah, they do. Uh, Meat Mm. pies are always on the menu. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> anytime, anytime. Anytime. Yeah. Now, um, the first thing I tell people, there's a couple of things I would say. Of course, you've got so many historic landmarks. We're going to talk about that next month, especially with Cane River, Creole National Historical Park, Melrose Plantation. You've got the fort, um, all kinds of, you know, history. Jefferson Highway history. The conference is coming up for that, by the way, in April, everyone. Uh, so check out jeffersonhighway.org. It'll be held in Alexandria. And you guys are going to be hosting the sociability caravan, right? That's coming through town. We are. Uh, we're hosting all of the um, people participating in the sociability run. We'll have them here. They'll be actually staying in some of our hotels and bed and breakfasts that are on the original Jefferson Highway. So that's going to be a nice time. We're um, installing a new marker at our Jefferson Street Park Um that will cool. denote the significance of the Jefferson Highway. So it's going to be a, it's going to be a good time. Party time. Yeah, Just saying, always. there's always a party going on. Um, <laughs> so there's a lot of history, but I think one of the cool things to do, if you can, when you get into town, is go on the walking tour of the Nac- uh, Natchitoches Historic District. And it's so beautiful. You meet at the Visitor Bureau. And uh, this is put on through the Cane River uh, Heritage Area. 
but I mean, you, you're walking on front, the front street has the actual bricks. It's a brick street. I mean, really, they still have it. And you've got beautiful views of Cane River Lake. You've got the historic rock house uh, down below. You've got the beautiful downtown Natchitoches with the wrought iron and all the shops and, you know, galleries and restaurants, meat pie places. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh, You know, good places to have waterfront cocktails. You know, there's a lot of good fun downtown. But um, this walking tour takes you also past the, you know, the different churches you have. I think you have some of the most beautiful churches, uh, you know, seriously, your, your churches are gorgeous. So um, this walking tour, wouldn't you say is one of the, a good way to get an overview because with you being the oldest settlement and so much history, part of uh, Louisiana, no man's land when there was no one, uh, there was no law and order for three years um, in Louisiana's uh, no man's land. Um, so this would be the way to kind of get all the different cultural that you know all the cultures that represent Natchitoches from French, Italian, Spanish, you know, you got Creole of course, so a little bit of everything, Native American. It is. It's a great way to start your trip to Natchitoches uh if you come and do the walking tour that leaves from our office on Front Street. You get a little overview of the whole historic district. It's over 33 blocks in its totality. But you can just, you hit on um, the highlights and then you can decide what you want to invest more time in. Or maybe it's something, you know, now I'm going to skip over that. I'm going to focus over here. So, you know, there's lots of lots of highlights and then you can just go from there. It's a great uh, knowledge to start your trip off with. Okay, so when does that happen? Because it, And it's free, everyone. This is a cool thing, too. It is. Um, it leaves from our office every Wednesday through Saturday. Wow. I didn't know it was, because I remember it was just Tuesdays or something. You, yeah. you know, maybe that's a few years ago. Um, so that's fantastic. So that shows the popularity. Um, then, of course, I want to bring up one of my favorite activities is it sounds crazy. One of my favorite activities is to go to cemeteries. <laughs> it is. Um, I'm one of those people who travel and say, there's a cemetery, um, pull over. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. But you have one of the oldest cemeteries in the Louisiana Purchase, if not the oldest one. And uh, there's an actual walking tour. And if you can go and, and meet up with Scotty, um, who's from the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame, and uh, which is also a state museum for Louisiana get history and also sports history so it's a really cool place to visit when you go to Natchitoches definitely should be on your list but he takes you on a walking tour of this cemetery Nicole I love I love it there and it's peaceful there's birds but the history I mean you've got some really uh, pretty elder grave sites there and at the resting spots but some of the stories that come out of that cemetery are pretty wild murder yeah. and mayhem and all kinds of good stuff yeah yeah yep. he tells a little bit of it all um it is no it is the oldest cemetery uh it was uh, that position was once held by a cemetery that was actually in new orleans but that cemetery had to be relocated they actually dug up all the graves and moved them um so the american cemetery on second street uh is the oldest and so um it is probably um one of the most famous it's home to one of the most famous scenes in steel magnolias uh the cemetery scene uh, that mm-hmm. takes place. It is was filmed in the American Cemetery, and you get to learn about that filming site plus lots of other uh, grave sites that are in the cemetery. Yeah, so Steel Magnolias, everyone. We always talk about this on the show. It was filmed. It was actually written. It's it's a local story. Uh, Robert Harling uh, wrote the the play and the book, and the movie was actually filmed there. And man, you had like Dolly Parton in your neighborhood. Yeah. Were 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 you in Natchitoches when it was being filmed? I was. Wow. Yeah, Do you well, remember I was a teenager. It? Yeah, oh, yes, oh. very vividly. I was a teenager then. Wow. Did you want to be part of the movie? Uh, I was actually <laughs> I was actually supposed to be a part of the movie, uh, and I didn't wake up in time. I was supposed to be one of the bikers in the very beginning, the kids riding their bikes. Um, and much to my dad's dismay, I did not get up in time. Oh my gosh. That's not something you lived down very well. Oh no. He loves to tell the story. That is funny. I'm sorry, but that's funny. (laughs) Yeah. Well, you know, Nancy, my mom, right. And in in South Africa, when I I worked for her, when 
Um, and I was like, Mama, Mama, I want to work for you, you know, in the magazine industry. And she always tells me, you begged me to be part of this. <laughs> you, <know? laughs> you begged me. And um, one morning I wasn't, I wasn't quite late for work, but where I lived in, um, like it was a separate part of the property of where we at home. Right. But it was like a separate building, my own little studio kind of thing, like a granny flat. And um, she, you know, she expects you to be at work 10 to 15 minutes early. Well, I thought, well, I'm sleeping in for a couple more minutes. Well, apparently I was woken up with a bucket of water. <laughs> so you you would never, you would have made it yeah. to the filming if Nancy was your mom. Uh, no. <laughs> gonna say. You may have had wet hair. You might have yeah. been cold. You might have been really grumpy. But, um, you know, a grumpy kid on a bicycle is pretty fun to watch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But wow, wow, how cool. How cool to have that history. So you got to see them film and, and you know, all like Olympia Dukakis and Dolly Parton, Julia Roberts, Shirley MacLaine. I mean, you had like good people in that movie. Yep. Yes, it was lots of fun. Um, they, fit, they fit in very well in the community. We kind of just let them be the whole time they were here. There was never a great big fuss. Um, we definitely didn't slow up any progress as far as filming goes. Uh, and they they enjoyed their time here, so that's, that's um, cool. Fond memories that was, to look back on for sure. Yeah, and and Julia Roberts wasn't even really famous yet. No, I think, but that was yeah, that was the beginning. Yeah. Well, I know I, I do want to touch on. I know we talked about it last uh, last time you were on the show, but this weekend, this uh, coming weekend, um, is the film festival, right? The the film festival, and also Easter is being celebrated. I wasn't going to go back into Easter because it's like just down the road. But um, since we're talking about Steel Magnolias, it's all connected, right? <laughs> for yeah. folks to do. <laughs> yeah. So there's lots going on um, in Natchitoches just about every weekend uh, yeah. until we get into the dead heat of the summer. Uh, but Melrose is mm. uh, hosting the Easter Bunny this year. He's going to be out there on the 23rd. So they're going to have um, breakfast with the bunny at 10 o'clock and events that run through the afternoon. So they've got a lot going on out there. Wow. So Easter. And then of course uh, you've got to go hang out uh, on the river, uh, Cane River Lake. It's not quite the river, Um, but now Cane River Lake. uh, So you can get out on the water now. Boat. You can, you can. can. We've had enough. We've had enough rain to open the river back up. Captain Paul has got the Cane River queen back in the river uh, downtown, launches it from downtown. He does a great uh, tour, gives you lots of historical facts about Cane River and about Natchitoches. Uh, His uh, boat is the Cane River Queen. They have a website where you can buy tickets or you can just walk up and buy one once the tours start. Um, Lots of fun to get on on the water with Captain Paul. Love it. We had a good time on there. We had a great, great time. And you could see like all the birds and the egrets and the herons and it was gorgeous. Um, so that's easy to get right from downtown Nagadish. Uh, before you go on the riverfront, not go into the next, not go, you're not going anywhere. Nicole's sticking around. We've got so many events to talk about. Uh, but on the riverfront, um, I wanted to just touch on the fact that the farmer's market is going to come back next month, right? It starts up its new season. Yes, new season starts April the 27th. So it'll be a lots of activity on the riverbank for sure. Cool, 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 cool. So um, let's get into the next wave of conversation uh, regarding major events happening. So we'll start with April because I know you'll be back on the show in April again. Uh, so, well, you've got, let's actually just focus on this. You've got some events going on, some races. So um, you've got a motorcycle run April 6th. You've got uh, a Bikes on the Bricks motorcycle run on May 25th. I don't, what's Run Baby Run? That's a five. Is that the thing where you're going to run that? You're going to yes. do that? Yes, that's a that's a five k run. It's a fundraiser for our local women's resource center. Uh, they do great work for the women in our community, and so we're all going to get out and support them and uh, get oh, our shoes on. Ah, uh, she's doing it. Everyone send good juju to Nicole. Yeah. Uh, she's doing things. Some of us are like, Mm-mm, we're not running. Uh, she's doing it. But now the the motorcycle thing, it seems. 
Is it because of the Caden River Byway, the Heritage Byway that you have? It's just scenic and it's a beautiful yes. time of year. You just seem to get a lot of even car groups that come out. We do. We have a lot of um, we have a lot of motorcycles that come to town uh, during the spring and summer months. There's several several motorcycle runs uh, that take place uh, in Natchitoches. One of them, the first one that we're going to come up on is uh, new, not a new event, but new to this area. They have decided to come to Natchitoches. Uh, that's going to be the Sin Law Burn Run. That's Saturday, April the 6th. Um, they're going to have a bike show and it's going to be down on the riverbank. They're going to have um, one of the cool things that I'm waiting to see is their beard contest. So they have um, different categories of uh, men. Hopefully, I guess they'll all be men with their beards um, and just lots of fun activities. And the kids, we have noticed how much the kids like to get out and look at the bikes. Mm -hmm. Uh, and these guys, yeah. these, uh, people that motorcycle riders that will come in, they may take um, the scenic route through Kasachi. Uh, they may take the scenic route that runs along Lake Inn. So we have uh, all different types of um, motorcycle rides um, already mapped out that you can ride your bike to Natchitoches, get in on the riverbank, um, participate in the bike show, be supportive of the Brothers Keepers Motorcycle Club. Uh, and just make a time of it. If you if you're not a motorcycle rider, but you want to bring your kids down to check them out, they'll all be on the riverbank um, on April 6th. So that's going to be a fun activity. We're glad that they decided to move that event to Natchitoches this year. Very cool. Very cool. And then the bikes on the bricks motorcycle event. What's that about? That's May 25th. So right, that's right. If you, that's if another, you miss the sixth, this is another one for you. Yeah. yeah. If you miss the one on the sixth, um, May the 25th. Uh, bikes on the bricks is coming back um not not exactly like the car show but similar to the car show where we just have lots of bikes lying in front street you can walk along look at the bikes talk to the owners um and just you know have a have a day it'll also be one of the days that the farmer's market is open so there'll be again there'll be lots of activity going on downtown lots of different things to do that sounds like a good weekend. And then um, let's go back up. You know, we were talking about Cane River Lake and, you know, the water. You guys have such beautiful water and different lakes as well. Um, but I, I do want to bring up the catfishing tournament. Listen, catfish, that's that's part of your, your, your you know, your menu in Louisiana, yeah. right? Right, right. Just about everybody has fried catfish on the menu. Mm. So that's a tournament that's coming up, what, April 12th and 3rd? It's a king cat fishing tournament. 12th and the 13th, yep. So that is the king cat fishing trail is coming back to Red River. Uh, this tournament is one of their signature series events that they call it that leads up to their uh, grand finale. Uh, mm. But start the, the first way in the night of the 12th or the evening of the 12th will be held at Grand Decor boat launch which is on red river but then saturday they have a kids activity that they do on the riverbank that's lots of fun gets lots of kids out starts at nine o'clock saturday morning they fish till 11 uh, mm. their participation in that qualifies them for a scholarship drawing that they do at the end of their season so uh just lots of reasons to get the kids out and about and fishing and then Very that cool. evening, yeah, that evening um, of April 13th, they will have the final weigh-in down on the riverbank. Uh, so they'll go, they'll actually be fishing on Red River, but they'll be escorted, uh, them and their fish will be escorted down to the riverbank where they'll have the uh, weigh-in on the main stage. So when we talk about this, you've got the, you know, catfish, but then you got crawfish too, um, yeah. and an event uh, surrounding that's kind of a newer event uh, for Natchitoches coming up. It is. It's newer. Uh, this is their second annual year. Last year um, was a huge success, but they're going to do it again. It's the City of Lights Crawfish Bowl Cook-Off. So they partner with the Louisiana Seafood Board uh, they provide crawfish to different teams that come in, bull crawfish. You buy tickets to participate. You get to pick your favorite. Uh, and there's you know, the, the staples, the crawfish, the potatoes, the corn, the beer, uh, everything out at the fairgrounds. 
And that is a fundraiser that is being done by our local fair board. And they are um, donating their proceeds to the cancer center here. So it's just a good time for a good cause. Um, get out. You get to taste all different kinds of crawfish uh, for one ticket price. So cool. Lots of fun going on that day, too. And you can't go wrong with crawfish. No, no. You know, one thing, too, we were talking about uh, Melrose with um, Melrose Plantation mm -hmm. with Easter, but they are what, isn't it, April 20th and 21st? Um, isn't that Earth Day weekend, I think? Um, they're having their 50th annual Melrose Arts and Crafts Festival. 50 years? That's pretty 50 years. Long. Yeah, 50 years. Wow. Um, yeah, they will a... um, get it kicked off that Saturday morning at 9 o'clock. If you've ever been or if you've never been, the grounds at Melrose are um, just full to capacity with vendors, um, all local artisans uh, with their crafts. And uh, you can take a tour of the home while you're out there. It's a great place to get an early start on Christmas gifts uh, to get you know those one of a kind gifts made by local artists. So that's always fun. Uh, but yeah, they've been doing that Saturday and Sunday, 50 years. Wow. And if you haven't been to Melrose Plantation, this is a, a good reason to get out there. I mean, you don't need a, you know, it's, it's a historic landmark. Um, it really is. Um, so there's just such rich history, not only, um, in plantation history, obviously local history, um, and Creole history, but also in art history. Yes. That's the other thing. And not just artists like Clementine Hunter comes from there famously, but then there's also writers that were there. I mean, it's just women's history is big. You know, it's women's history month. That's a big deal yes. over there. So, I mean, the history runs deep at Melrose. It really is. Uh, it does. Yes, it does. It, you get to learn a, all about Miss Cammy Henry, um, who provided a great place to stay for artists uh, and writers alike. You get to see some of the beautiful work that Clementine Hunter did. Her house has, is on the grounds. Uh, you get to see the murals that she painted for the family that lived there. So lots of history, lots of art, lots of uh, good uh, women empowerment stories as well. Yeah, absolutely. That Yeah, don't mess with that, man. Yeah. <laughs> really, really. Uh, you know, also speaking about the arts, um, you have, this is another major event that happens at Natchitoches is May 10th through 11th, Mother's Day weekend, yes. um, is a 26th annual Jazz R&B Festival. This is always a big deal. It is a big deal. Lots of music, several different stages going uh, all at once. Some major headliners coming in this year. We've got Chapel Heart, uh, an all-women's group. I'll throw that out. Uh -huh. Women's group uh, coming you out go, of Mississippi, <laughs> uh, who made a name for themselves on a on a very popular music show. Uh, and then we've got Craig Morgan, uh, country music yeah. superstar, Hall of Famer, Craig Morgan coming in. Uh, we've also got some tribute bands, which are, are really fun to watch. Um, Leonard, one of them's a uh, tribute to Leonard Skinner. One of them's a tribute to Fleetwood Mac. So lots of music, lots of fun. I love it. Tribute bands. I mean, it's, they're carrying the torch, you know, they are. It, it's, they're fun to they're watch. Fun. And yeah. everybody knows the words, you know, yeah. or if they don't, you look at your neighbor next to you that's, you know, singing the wrong words and you're like, all right, you know, you're cut off. Uh, but, you know, then uh, the other thing I wanted to bring up, which I also think is important, is uh, the annual sale on the trail. This is the 17th year, May 3rd and 4th. And this is really a good way to experience the El Camino Real de los Tejas National Historic Trail that Natchitoches is like the ending point. And this trail goes uh, from Mexico up and mostly, you know, in the States side, we talk about San Antonio and Nancy and I have just done a whole part of it <laughs> in San Antonio yeah. area. We were in and out and around. And um, so we've done part of the Texas side. We've done part of it. You know, definitely the most popular drive would be, you know, for the trail up in your neck of the woods, because you do have the woods up there with Kasachi National Forest next to you, um, is going from Natchitoches to Nacogdoches, Texas, right? So that's 
pretty much the the main gist of the sale on the trail, right? Is that route? Right, right. We're in the Caddo region uh, of the El Camino Real. So we focus, our focuses are on Nacogdoches to Natchitoches. Uh, just had a, a planning meeting this morning. We are fixing to open up registration. So uh, anyone can be, anyone from Nacogdoches to Natchitoches can be looking for that online to come out probably in the next week or so where you can actually register where you're going to be and we'll put you on an interactive map. Uh, and that way people can pull it up, look at it, see where you're set up and visit um, visit you on the sale on the trail. Cool. And for those of us who want to get good deals, you know, it's a cool thing to do. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I like it. I like it. Uh, the other part, I didn't want to leave out the Iris uh, Spring Picnic, the uh, the annual year of the Iris spring picnic at Briarwood. Um, you know, we talk about women's history and Natchitoches is very famous for, uh, Carolyn Dorman, uh, not, not just in Natchitoches, but Kasachi National Forest. She is a woman who really helped put the forest on the map in your area. And Briarwood is her home. And when you go there, you can see the grandpappy tree. You can see iris. You can see a little swampy area, wildflowers, um, her her actual home where she lived and did yeah. all her drawings and her writing and um, I think Carolyn Dorman is she should she's a national treasure truly she yes. needs to be yes. on a bigger map like you know what I mean I think she she's um, not heard about as much as she should yeah you know? she is um, and her beautiful home site is now maintained um by a by a woman uh Mm -hmm. bailey brose is the curator at uh carolyn dorman so she if you don't follow uh, briarwood on social media you should the Mm -hmm. irises started blooming this week so she uh posts great pictures of the irises and all of the great things that she's doing uh out at the carolyn um dorman nature preserve she has it open for tours but the spring picnic is a great time of the year to get out there see her presentations check out the um tours that she does there's a hiking area out there and then she also offers irises for sale so um, you can get Louisiana native uh, irises while you're out there uh, and just have a great oh, cool. time on the grounds. They're absolutely beautiful. Oh, man, I love it out there. We definitely want to go back for sure. So always a ton happening in Natchitoches. Um, they, you know, they always say celebrate this in Natchitoches, celebrate that in Natchitoches. Basically, every day is a celebration in Natchitoches. So yeah. go to Natchitoches, enjoy yourself, go to Natchitoches.com. The link for that is in the show notes because I know it's hard to, if you've never been there, um, to kind of wrap your, it's hard to wrap your tongue around that uh, spelling, right? <laughs> it's yeah. a little bit different. Uh, so all the links are in the show notes and I'll also put a link over uh, for the calendar on this on uh, Natchitoches.com because it has everything listed on there for more information if you're trying to plan your trip around some of these events that we've been talking about. But even if there's no events, which I don't know, like when there's not something happening right. in Natchitoches, um, it's just a really cool place to visit. Good food, good people. It's like one of those, you know, you walk downtown and people smile and say hello to you and you're like, what do you want, man? Yeah. <laughs> We are we're very friendly here. We we like to stay in a good mood. We always have something going on, so that helps keep a smile on everybody's face. There's always something that's fun to do. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Nicole. It's always fun having you on the show. Yeah. We look forward to y'all coming and visiting. Oh, you know we're all doing it. Yeah. Thank you for joining us on our Big Blend Radio Go to Natchitoches show. Keep up with us at BigBlendRadio.com and plan your adventure in Natchitoches. Go to Natchitoches.com. That is N-A-T-C-H-I-T-O-C-H-E-S.com. Natchitoches.com.